Oh my gosh, it's so small, but I got the white version. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. That's amazing. Classic Sony, creating an entirely new line of cameras when they already have like a bajillion. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Peachy, and when I say Sony made a new camera again, uh, it's not mean-spirited, maybe it's a little bit sarcastic, but it's a good thing. It means that you as a consumer have hella options with Sony, like so many options, and I'm just a big fan of that. And I guess it's like more content for me as a Sony fan. <laughs> okay, this is the new Sony camera, and look, it's white. Super cool, in the sea of black cameras out there to get something different. Now, you're like, okay, well, this kind of looks like their APS-C cameras, so what's special about it? Well, enter the Sony ZV-1. Now, this is kind of like a version of the RX100, but more video-focused. You have the full tilt screen, you have a lot of features, uh, like the smooth skin feature, and the product focus feature. So, a lot of cameras, if it has face detection on, um, if I wanted to show you this camera, Camera and I wanted it to focus on the camera. I would kind of have to hide my face so the camera would autofocus on the camera and not my face. Well, with this product focus feature, it immediately detects that you're putting something up in front of the camera that it needs to autofocus on. So not only is that handy for like tech videos that I make, if you're a makeup beauty vlogger and you're showing, hey guys, I got a new lipstick or a new eyeliner, and they, they usually put their hand behind the product. And why they do that is so the camera will autofocus on the product and not their face. Little fun fact if you're like, why are they always putting their hand behind products? So this new camera, the ZV-E10, it's kind of a mouthful, um, has those same features like the product and the smooth skin, but the body is very similar to Sony's APS-C cameras. And that means that yes, it has an APS-C sensor, not the one inch sensor. So you're gonna get a little bit more bokeh. And more importantly, it's an interchangeable lens system. So if you have all of these E-mount lenses that well you use on an a7s or an APS-C Sony camera, you're going to be able to use it with this. And what's great about that is Sony has a lot of APS-C specific lenses where they're smaller. See how small this is? So it's easier to vlog. It's not heavy. You have that eye autofocus going and look, you have a fully articulating flip screen just like the ZV-1. This is the 6600, one of my favorite APS-C cameras from Sony. And the screen flips up, but that gets a bit annoying when you put a mic on, this screen becomes useless. So I'm very glad to kind of see, well, a baby in between the ZV-1 and uh, the 6400 and the 6600. Now, um, one of the biggest differences is the 6600 has in-body image stabilization. So it's gonna have better image stabilization, but this has active mode stabilization. So the actual body isn't doing that work. Um, you know, it's kind of the software trying to keep your image still. Um, but in my experience, it did, it just did a really good job. Just like the ZV-1, it turns on and off when you flip the screen out, it turns on. When you flip it back, it turns off as long as you keep the on button toggled and the top you know it doesn't look the same as a 6600 it's actually very simplified around the shutter button is for zooming you have the record button you have one custom button here at the top and then you just have this dial to adjust like f shop or shutter speed it's not actually a mode dial like you'll have on a 6600 they've improved the mics in the camera and this little fuzzy guy is just on here via the um, shoe mount let's take it off so you can see there they want you to be able to use this camera camera without a mic on top, although it does have a headphone jack and a mic slot, which is nice. You have a USB-C connector as well as a mini HDMI. Hey, I would have loved to see 4K 60 frames per second on this camera, um, but the price is only $699 and for the kit, it's $799 with this, uh, this lens, the 16 to 50. So I'm going to put this on real quick. Ooh, okay. I mean, that white and silver is like, it's a look. It's serving some looks. And as you can see on the top here, um, you know, instead of the mode dial, you just have a one button toggle in between video mode, photo mode, and S and Q mode. So it'll be pretty simple for people who, you know, don't want to be confused with all of the different functions. So as you can see here, I'm using the rocker to zoom in and out from 16 mil all the way to 50. Very nice. So I love that Sony 
you put the red record light on the front and then also when you're recording, you your whole screen turns red so you should know if you're recording or not. So um, let's see. Okay, so I'm holding it all the way out and as you can see, 16 millimeters on an APS-C sensor is still kind of tight, right? You gotta remember that it has a 1.5 times crop when you're dealing with lens lengths in comparison to full frame. Um, so this is without skin smoothing on and then I'm gonna turn skin smoothing well on and to medium. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so skin smoothing is now turned on. Turned on to medium. We have the eye autofocus going on, so it just, it's getting me. Um, another thing with this is this camera isn't using the updated um, batteries that we see in the A7S. The batteries that this camera is using are the old Sony batteries that um, the A7S II and the 6400 use. Um, hey, I would have loved, you know, if maybe it could have the new updated batteries, these guys, but that would make the grip bigger. And this camera is still smaller than a 6600. The grip is smaller. So I feel like they wanted to keep it a little bit more comfortable compact, which makes sense. And my experience with this, uh, with already a day of shooting, it doesn't suck the battery as much as like an A7S II would. Um, and it actually lasted me like a consecutive four hours of filming. So let's actually test it out in the field. I just recently went to my grandpa's ranch and we saw some cows. So I feel like that would be fun to share with you guys. And at one point, watch this, I, I put on my 70 to 200 F4 lens, which is the lens that I use with my a7s3 a ton look at this big boy <laughs> look how crazy that looks yeah it's just super convenient that you can use any e-mount glass on this camera so if you already have a full frame camera and maybe you just want to hook this up as your stream camera for your computer because also gosh so many things to talk about you can just hook this up via the USB. No other software is required. It'll pop up in your Zoom or wherever as a webcam and you can just start using your good camera with your lenses um, just like that. And then also you can take it off, use it as a camera B when you're out and about shooting. This camera is just super versatile and capable. And as you know, I'm sure Sony's trying to capture some of the people who want a fancier camera coming from their phones. I think this is also gonna be a good second Sony camera for people who already shoot full frame. Um, cause you know, maybe the ZV-1 didn't make a ton of sense cause you can't use your lenses with it, but you still want something portable um, to self film with. So, okay, anyways, let's go have some fun. What are we doing? Nah. We are about to go hang out with some cows. <laughs> Probably a good portion of them. And then I think there are some horses, maybe some goats. And if we're lucky, some sheep. No, I wish. <laughs> oh wow, so we're not lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, there's not many horses at our place, but you're gonna see a gob as we drive. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Oh, a, a gob of horses. Horses. Yeah. So keep an eye out, horses. Sarah. It's your job. Horses. So we're visiting my grandparents' farm, and I thought, what a perfect opportunity to test out this new camera. Oh, you're filming me? Oh. God. Okay, last time we were here, I was actually testing out, I think, a new RX100. Oh. So it's interesting because this is a continuation of the one inch type uh, cameras like the RX100, the ZV1, but now it's an APS C sensor and also interchangeable lenses. So let's go, Genie. Stay PG. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting hay right now. Hey. Hey now. Oh. <laughs> We secure the hay. <laughs> Do cows ever attack humans? Do cows ever attack humans? Ha! Oh, it's a baby calf. There's so many yeah, babies. The birds. I know. Joining in the fun. No, that's okay. Wow, it falls apart. Get that hay. John? I have. I'm gonna be a rancher. 
<laughs> Is that the expression? Farmer? No, it's rancher if it's animals. It's farmer if it's vegetables. Oh, really? Yeah. The thing that is so funny about cows is when you get close, they just stare. They just stare into your soul. Yeah, that's right. I love the white faces. It looks like a Q-bone, like the skull. Oh, uh, the Pokemon? It? <laughs> you can see it's like... It's so sunny out here. It's kind of hard to tell if it's exposed properly. Yeah, it sounds directly above our heads. Worst time to film. Worst time FYI. to film, but we have a little windscreen at the top and I'm just using the internal mic. So we'll see how the internal mics are, but we had some good bonding times with the cows. It is a little sketchy when they get close. So last time I almost got attacked by some cows. That was fun. That was so funny. <laughs> I am terrified right now. I wish you would have. Just see how you got out of that. What'd you do? Did you hop the fence? Honestly, I just crossed my fingers. I, I should have hopped the Close fence. Close your eyes. In that moment, I was literally like, oh, they're not going to do anything. <laughs> They know that I'm, they didn't, right? I'm on their side. They didn't, but it got really close. Yeah. Okay, so I think the point of this camera is versatility, right? Those images, the video looked great. Uh, you know, it can do 4K. It's not gonna be doing 4K 60 like the full frame cameras. Um, something I did tell watching back the video is it has a pretty gnarly rolling shutter. Uh, however, you know, that sensor isn't gonna be as fast as something that you're gonna find on their higher, you know, more expensive, fancier cameras. So there are definitely some drawbacks, but when you have the price tag of $700, it's like it gets really interesting because you get that versatility of interchangeable lenses. You have the great features that like you can just plug in the camera straight into your computer um, for your Zoom calls or Microsoft team meetings. And maybe you don't own actually any cameras and you've just been capturing everything with your phone, which is great. Phones are great nowadays, but you want to start to get into the Sony system and start investing in maybe some lenses and you want, you know, some more high quality images. Well, this will get you there for $700 and then you know, you can work your way up maybe to a Sony full frame camera, which I'm a fan of. So as someone who already has a Sony a7S III, which I'm filming with right now, um, you know, one of their, not one of their, the best full frame uh, mirrorless camera for video, I think I can say. No, I retract that. I don't want, I'm sorry. I don't want to make Canon people mad or Nikon people mad. <laughs> sorry, that was mean. Sorry, Nikon. Anyways, what am I talking about? Um, I guess as someone who has already invested in Sony's full frame line and I do this as a job and I prefer those cameras, uh, you know, this camera definitely isn't for me. If I want something small, I'm going all the way small. I, I would probably just go with the Sony ZV, ZV-1. Now I'm confusing all these names. These names are so confusing, Sony. <laughs> But yeah, I would probably just go with Sony's point and shoot camera because that really is like super small and compact and you don't have to worry about changing out lenses. So I'm kind of like bring the bigger cameras for the best video image and the best uh, picture image ever or just go super small with the phone or like a point and shoot. That's just my uh, personal opinion. You can let me know what yours is. Do you find this camera at all appealing or are you just like, okay, cool, Sony, congrats on another camera. Keep doing what you're doing but you're just gonna move on with the rest of your life thanks for watching my video at least <laughs> let me know if you like this video hit the subscribe button down below for new videos every single week and i think i'm actually gonna be posting another video today maybe i haven't posted like in a week and then i'm gonna post two videos in one day that makes no sense sarah yeah i don't know i i, I really don't know so make sure you're subscribed okay stay peachy okay bye <laughs>